Good morning, good morning. It's Matt saying PF. Another day, another blessing. You know what I'm saying? And you already know what I'm here for. It's come to give you some knowledge. Today, we're going to talk about tobacco for a little bit, and then we're going to run into Oxycontin. April 14, 1996, the tobacco products and health were all um, at the uh, little, um, I guess, Congress-like type of meetings they be having where company representatives all come there to represent their company, you know, and the best that they can do, you know. So they were being questioned. And this was all recorded and live. You can go look up this footage. And they were asked, do you think tobacco is addictive? No, it was like six of them. All of them, one by one, said no. They never figured it out. It was a lie. And they also figured out they, that they were actually designing their products to be even more addictive. Come on, man. We got to start waking up. There's so much things that are, they're designing to be more addictive. And we just... Going over our head. <laughs> and Purdue, they were the people, were the company, let me get right, get it right, the company that were responsible for Oxycontin. And who owned the Purdue? Sackler family. And in 1996, the total sales for Oxycontin was $35 billion. Now that's crazy. They started off so small and then the opioids, the Oxycontin, spread all through the United States. And before you know it, there's so much people just overdosing and they make it. More money. The more drugs they made, the more money they made. So it's so crazy. And then it's like, to contradict themselves, they even invested in treatment centers. So why are you uh, having your own treatment centers? Oh, because y'all know that the shit that y'all selling are actually, are prescribing, is actually putting people uh, more on the street, strung out, and it's not actually helping them. It's not easing their pain. It's causing more pain. More trauma, you feel what I'm saying? Like, that is so crazy. Richard Sackler. Richard Sackler was the head of the Purdue Corporation. And they, uh, you know, when they were out seized everything, and ransack his emails and his private emails and they figured out that how he really felt about what he was doing and what he was selling and basically to sum it up he knew that the shit ain't helping people but shit they're making a crap load of money so fuck it we ain't gonna stop until they take us out of business you know what i'm saying and that's just make that should make more people think like that's just one company uh one pill that's not like even every like uh, pill company that making all those pills. So if we was to actually start dissecting and analyzing so much different things or different pills, we would realize like shit, all that shit is designed to kill us. So we need to get more on our natural stuff that that are actually that is actually helping us. And when we get more, get back to more stuff like that, we'll actually be able to heal. Until then, we will never heal. <laughs> 